Patrick, what are you doing? What are you doing, Patrick? It's not attached to the glass. What are you possibly hoping to accomplish here? Bro. Bro. Why? <laughs> Why would you? What's going on, guys? My name's Jeff, and we are back behind the glass. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update on the phosphate remover kit that we just installed last week. Now, I know in the original video, I said two things that I lied about. The first thing that I lied about is that I was going to do a water change that same video. I didn't ever end up doing a water change that video. So we're gonna do a water change this video. The second thing that I lied about is that I was going to probably maybe wait a month before I produce, you know, this update video, but I'm curious to see if it's working like right now. I'm really, really hopeful that this actually works out because I want this to be a great supplement and I really want to recommend this product to people that are maybe interested in lowering their phosphates. I mean, come on. I, I don't want to have to have wasted my money on a faulty product or a product that isn't for me, you know? <laughs> I think we all have that little fear inside of us. With all that being introduced and out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. And you appreciate these kind of updates, go ahead and give my channel a subscription, give the video a like. And with all that being said, let's move on over to the table. So something that I want to really quickly iterate while I'm going ahead and going through with this test is that I am not trying to like sell this product as the end all be all solution for fixing any of your phosphates. And the reason for that is because they're the only real guaranteed end all be all fix to most of your water problems is just going to be consistent water changes. So what are our phosphates looking like after about a week of not doing anything, no water changes, no nothing. Honestly, they've gone down to about between one and 2.5. Would it do more if maybe I let it sit longer? Maybe, but I still wanna do a water change on my tank. Okay, I actually forgot to shake the bottle on that, God damn it. So see, this is what I was talking about with the nitrate tests. If you don't shake the bottle number two, if you don't shake this before you put it in, your nitrates are gonna come back as zero or five, and they're not this. I promise you that they're not this low, I promise you. So while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and go through our pH readings, looking like an eight to plate point two, that's what we want. Ammonia, once again, zero, always love to see that. Nitrites, zero, love to see that. And then as for nitrates, you can see that the bottle is a lot more darker now. It's actually right around, yeah, I think it's around 40 actually. It might look like 10 to 20 on camera, but it's actually closer to 40. So we'll go ahead and do a water change. All right, so to get underway with this water change, we're only gonna need a couple of things. We're gonna need something to extract Bruh. the water. <laughs> We're gonna need something to extract the water with. Some Seachem Prime, personally recommend these, but Happy works as well. A few five gallon buckets that you can find at your local Walmart, Meyer, Lowe's, or any local store, honestly. I'm personally gonna be using three for 15 gallons for 25% water change. And for our ocean tank, we're gonna need some sea salt as well. I personally actually highly recommend this Instant Ocean brand because it's a very, very dissolvable salt. And we're also gonna need a hydrometer to test the specific gravity of the salt water while we're making so we don't accidentally over or under salute the water. Just like last time, we're actually going to be unplugging some stuff, except this time we're also going to be unplugging our wave maker and our filter and our heater. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dip these into this first bucket. And then actually, while that water is draining out, what we need to do is we need to come over here and we're gonna start testing out this water, making sure it's about the right temperature. Then we're gonna extend this. I don't know if you can really do this with your home. I personally can, but <laughs> anyways, we're just gonna kind of dip it down and have it dip into the floor. We're gonna make sure that it's still testing for the right temperature. Nope, just a little bit. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna take two scoops of these. I take one scoop in there, two scoop in there, and then we're gonna take probably about a fifth, no, nah, more like a sixth, maybe something like that of a cup, and then we're gonna pour the rest in there like that. 
And then by the time we're done doing that, that bucket is just about to get full. So what we're gonna do is a little bit messy. We're gonna take these two tubes and then we're gonna kind of flush them in there like that. That'll minimize the amount of water wasted. And then we're gonna take this dirty water and we're gonna flush it down the toilet. All right, now that we're done doing that, it looks like this bucket is just about to be full. While we're at it, we still need to add some prime. So what I personally do, I'm gonna do this with one hand. I personally add one cap full of prime. There we go. So one cap full of prime into the water is all you're gonna need. And then we're gonna do this. Kick this bucket out of the way. We're gonna come back here and do another little flip trick. Cool. And then real quick, while these are both filling up, we're gonna take this and we're gonna stir this water some in order to get the salt actually mixing into the water, just like so. Check on this bucket. It looks like it's just about ready to be pulled out. So we're gonna take these and we're just gonna tump them like that. That'll fill the rest of the bucket with a little bit of water. And we're gonna kind of hang them on the edge like this so that way they don't end up going anywhere. There we go, that'll work. And then we're gonna take the salinity test. We're gonna go ahead and see what the salinity is of all the water. We're gonna see if we actually got it right the first time. Usually I'm pretty confident. Um, that one is actually pretty low. I'm gonna test this one really quick. That one's low too. Okay, I'm gonna assume that that one's low as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like maybe another cup we're gonna sprinkle a little bit right there, right there, and then right there, and maybe this there. Patrick, what are you doing? What are you doing, Patrick? It's not attached to the glass. What are you possibly hoping to accomplish here? Oh, it's so hard to watch, and it's so slow too. Look, 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 look at that, the last little bits are falling off. Bro, bro, why? <laughs> Why would you? All right, so that was a little bit of a distraction, but we're gonna go ahead and test our water again. <laughs> oh, dang it, Patrick. Mmm, that is perfect. That is right where we want it. All right, that one's perfect too. I love to see it. Oh, baby, a triple! I love to see it. All three of them are perfectly selenated, selenated. Okay, so now all that remains is to actually put the water in. And we want to try and fill that water up to as close to the black line as possible. So we're at about there, actually. It looks like I pretty much had enough exactly water for what I needed. All right, just a couple of last steps. We're going to take a couple of paper towels, one that's already wet and one that's dry. And we're just gonna wash the front of the glass like so. We're gonna make sure that no salt lines are gonna appear on the tank glass. All right, I think that'll right about do it. Just the very last thing to do is to make sure that we clean up after ourselves. So what are our phosphates now? After the water change, honestly, it doesn't really look like they moved hardly at all. They still look like 0 0.5. <laughs> but it's helped a little bit. So, did it work? Kind of? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that it's only gone down by one bar since I bought it. I was expecting it to do a little bit more, you know? Maybe it could be that the carbon bags are getting in the way. It could be that I need more of it. I, I, I just don't know. I, I could dig out my filter and take out the carbon bags. Maybe it would help, but I, I digress. If you appreciated this update and this little insight into the phosphate remover by Seachem, feel free to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, and have a great rest of your day.